stage, I just got caught up. I just, I'm sorry. Oh. I lost control here. I ran off stage, I just got caught up with my uh, social media, so. <laughs> Little social tip. You never want to be away from your phones for too long, you know? So if you're ever out to dinner with people who have spent time in traffic and, you know, found a parking space and had to walk in through some bad weather to be sitting with you at a table, make sure that you have your face buried in your phone. <laughs> because there's a lot of great stuff out there and you don't want to miss out on it. Make sure that you're checking it all out during dinner. Cats don't play piano. <laughs> I do if you bother to ask me about it. <laughs> I saw an interesting post today on social media. Somebody posted a very strong political opinion. And huh. someone replied, good point, I changed my mind. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I saw a unicorn. I saw a unicorn. I saw a unicorn today. I think people want to be nice, you know? But uh, I learned recently that things can get their feelings hurt. So in a hotel, I walked up to the front desk. I said, how late is your gym open? The guy goes, gym? You mean fitness center? <laughs> Please tell me it did not hear that. <laughs> people want to be good. I'm intrigued when people say, I don't have a racist bone in my body. But nobody ever says they have just one. <laughs> That'd be weird to find out, huh? Your doctor showing you your x-rays? <laughs> well... <laughs> Everything's pretty good, but uh... But what? See that one bone there? Yeah, what about it? It's racist. Yeah, you have a racist bone in your body. Well, what do we do about that? We keep an eye on it, that's what we do. You guys have been tremendous. Thank you all very much.